Hey folks, in today's video, let's talk about 10 tips to improve your iPhone's battery performance. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. When saving a battery is your highest priority, I would request you to turn off the auto brightness and change the brightness accordingly by yourself. To make these changes, go to our control panel and look for a brightness bar. Reduce the brightness from maximum to somewhere between medium to low. Followed by this, we can change the UI theme from light to dark. Apple has well engineered this dark theme to give the user a good viewing experience. When you compare between a light and dark theme and having your brightness intensity set to the full level, with the dark theme you can save close to 25% of your batteries. To bring these changes to your device, go to the settings and in the settings look forward for display and brightness and inside display and brightness select the dark theme. Tip number 2. Reduce white points. Apple has designed this feature to reduce the intensity of bright white colors on your screen and adjust according to the color temperature on the screen. It's not just going to save the battles, it's also going to reduce the stain on your eyes. For low light environments or for indoor activities, this condition seems to be quite convenient. To activate this feature, go to the settings, look forward for display and text size, inside the display and text size, choose the reduced white one, turn it on and change the intensity according to your convenience. Tip number 3. Dynamic Rotation Mode or Orientation Lock To give the user a wonderful experience, by default these modes are set as turned on. According to the physical orientation of the device, the display orientation would be switched between landscape and the portrait mode for dedicated applications. This could be consuming and some amount of battery because the accelerometer behind the scenes would be constantly monitoring and orientation of physical device. To save the battery, we could turn off this feature. To turn off this feature, go to the control settings and turn off the rotation mode. Tip number 4. Reduce motion. Whenever you switch from one app to another app, you might have noticed this beautiful transition animation and the parallax effect with your user interface. These things would consume some amount of battery. In case if you are willing to compromise your user experience for over the battery, then you can use this one beautiful option called as reduce motion. To turn on this reduce motion, you can go to the settings and look for the keyword reduce motion which comes under the accessibility, the second option. When you find the reduce motion, turn this on and if it's noticed some amount of battery saving. Tip number 5. Analytics data. Although this feature would be consuming only a minimal amount of battery, still you could save it. Whenever the app crashes or any improper behavior of the app occurs, behind the scenes the feedback system would be collecting this report and would be sharing to an app. By default this would be set it as turned on, you can still turn it off by going to the settings. To make this turn off, go to the settings, type the keyword analytics, under the privacy and securities, you would be able to identify this keyword. Look for the function called as in share analytics and turn this off. Tip number 6. Background app refreshing. Many applications would be refreshing behind the scenes on different intervals which consume some amount of your internet data as well as your battery. It would be wiser to identify what are the applications that's been turned on in the background of app refreshment and in case if those are not in priority apps, you could turn it off and save the battery as well as some amount of your internet data. To do this, go to our settings and type the keyword background app refresh. Once you type this background app refresh which takes you to a general section, look for the apps which are not quite important. In my case, I could notice some 3-4 apps which are not important for me. I would like to have those refresh for you when I enter the applications. Turn this off and you could see some amount of improvement in your battery performance health. Tip number 7. Limit your location service. Whenever you are not using your location service, like for the application Google Maps, Uber also financed app, it's wiser to turn this feature off. Because behind the scenes the GPS would be running which consumes a good amount of battery and it also shares this data with different background refresher app. It is also consuming your internet data. By turning it off, you save the battery as well as the internet data. To turn this off, go to the settings. Under the settings, type for the keyboard location which comes under privacy and security. When you identify this feature in location service, turn it off or leave it to the application you find it more important. If the number 8, no power mode. This is a good feature from Apple. Whenever you run short of battery or you like to last your battery for the full day, it's better to have this feature turned on. Basically, this feature rates a performance for battery. When this feature has been turned on, you can notice that the battery research has been turned off 
Along with that, you may notice some performance lagging because the CPU speed has been reduced. To turn this feature on, you can go to our settings. Inside the settings, you can type the keyboard low power mode. This would come under the battery sections and we see this low power mode turn this on. Once you turn this on, the battery icon color changes to an yellow. Tip number 9 Siri always testing. Whenever you have your device facing downwards or it's been covered, the device would be waiting to hear a triggering face called Hey Siri. If you are someone like me who doesn't use the Siri often, I would suggest you to turn off this feature. Since it's constantly waiting to hear this triggering faces, it consumes some amount of battery. To turn off this feature, you can go to our settings and search for the keyboard Siri, which comes under the accessibility, and there you can look for the feature called Always Listening and turn this feature off. Tip number 10 and the last tip, iOS update. Always have your iOS updated to the latest version. At the latest version, you may receive the applications more optimized for your device. It should go easy on your battery side as well as you could see a peak in your performance. Along with this, you also get a security patches which is quite important for any devices. To see which software your device is running on, go to the settings. Inside the settings, go to the general. Inside the general, go to a software update and look for the latest software you are running on. We have reached to the end of the video. In case if you have any other tips that improves the iPhone's battery performance, please let me know in the comment section. In case if you find this video be a spot, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that I get motivated and make some more videos like this. Until then, see you. Bye-bye.